Hey Crock-Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making seven can Crock-Pot vegetable soup. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. Can you see all that? Welcome back to my kitchen and today we are going to be making a super simple but super hearty recipe. It is seven can crock pot vegetable soup. So let's just get into it. Um, you are going to need a can of peas, drained, can of corn, drained, can of carrots, drained, can of diced tomatoes, drained. Are you catching the theme here? Can of sliced potatoes, drained, and a can of green beans. Can you guess? Drained. And so, and then you are going to have a seventh can that is a um, can of beef broth. Well, my store did not have cans, so I had to get the carton. I'll have to measure that out. And I just remembered that I forgot a measuring cup. Be right back. In the back. So, have this for the beef broth if you can't, um, get a can of beef broth. If you can get a can, then you don't need to worry about it. Um, a, then you're gonna also need a 64 ounce container of vegetable juice, and then two pounds of ground beef um, browned and drained. You're going to need, let me see, make sure I get my measurements right, a tablespoon of dried basil, a teaspoon and a half of garlic salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. So. That's it. So the hardest part of this is just getting everything ready and that's really not that hard. And so while I had my ground beef um, cooking, I chopped up my onion and oh yeah, you also need a small onion chopped up. <laughs> um, so, and I did that off of camera because um, I don't know if you've ever read any of my posts where I talk about dicing an onion, but I am one of those people that like, I cannot dice an onion without looking like, or coming out of it looking like I have just been sobbing my eyes out. My eyes water, my eyes get red and makeup runs. It's just, it ain't pretty. So I did that ahead of time <laughs> before I put on makeup. And um, so, while that was cooking, I diced up my onion and I opened my cans and drained them. It was that simple, so it's really not that hard. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and dump all of this into a six quart crock pot. Easy peasy. And you definitely want a six quart for this because even with just the vegetables in there, it's already getting really full. So again, if you have a can of beef broth, then you don't, oh my goodness, just putting those onions in, like my eyes like, I want a water, I want a water. <laughs> ah. Okay, so back to the beef broth. If you have a can of beef broth, just pour it in. If you don't, it's like a generous, like, because the cans I believe are like 14 and a half ounces. A cup is eight ounces, so it's like a generous cup and a half. So we're going to do one cup, and a generous half. Okay, then we're going to add in our beef. And there's always a big debate whenever Mikey and I cook together because, oh, and when Chris and Mike cook together because he likes um, ground beef like um, chopped up into, like as you're cooking it, chopping it up into teeny tiny pieces. Chris and I like the bigger chunks, so you do you. Um, and then we're going to add in our spices. So we've got a teaspoon and a half of garlic salt. And I do recommend putting in, so there's a teaspoon, let's do a half. I do recommend putting in all of your veggies and stuff prior to the liquid, just so you can keep the splashing down to a minimum. So I put in a teaspoon and a half of garlic salt. And we're going to do a half a teaspoon of ground pepper. Whew, that makes me want to sneeze. 
and then we're going to do a tablespoon of basil. we will just top it off with our vegetable juice. I don't know that shaking it does much good because it, there's really not a lot of extra room in there. Let's see if I can get this open. I can! Yay! Alright, so we're just going to pour this in ever so gently. We're going to pour it all around so those spices, it helps mix those spices in. And like I said, this really fills up a crock pot. It does make a lot and but it's super yummy we like to eat it even as leftovers and um we also have some neighbors that we like to share food with so it makes it perfect okay so i'm going to very very gently stir this because oh my goodness this is a full crock pot if you have an acorn crock pot you could definitely use that for this as well but you, your house is going to smell amazing, and um, you're going to have plenty of food to keep you warm. Okay, so everything is really stirred together now. That looks awesome. And so now we are just going to cover and cook on low for, for four, six to eight hours, or on high for three to four hours, whichever you choose. And we will be back in three, two, and we're back and so I know that this slow cooker cooks a little on the hot side so three hours and it smells amazing it's nice and hot all the flavors should have had time to melt together so we're ready to eat this and I'm really hungry so it's gonna Woo! look at that steam told you it was nice and hot guess what that means I'm gonna burn my mouth yay so I'm gonna give this a nice good stir oh my goodness so much yumminess it's awesome guys and i love how simple this is to put together i'm not going to put too much in this bowl because i don't know if you saw a video i did once where like i put too much in the bowl i tipped the bowl so you guys could see it and crazy hot liquid went all over my hand i do not want to repeat that so let's give it a look Let's see can you see all that oh it's it's still trying to come out so we'll try to pull it this way so you got the beef carrots green beans um, like I think what else in there um, tomatoes peas corn onion you got it all like I'm, I'm oh my I'm about to tip it and lots of liquid so okay let's give this a try and try not to burn my mouth you gotta get some beef on there. Yep, it's still steaming. Hang on. Mm. There's not a like over the top sense of the seasonings but they're there and like it just it comes out just ever so subtly and like it mixes together with the vegetable broth and um and our vegetable juice and beef broth and the veggies and the meat and it's yummy and i love it and i hope you guys do too if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't become a member of our crock posse hit the subscribe button down below if you would like to know every single time we post a video, hit the bell called the ding -ling. No matter what you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye! My little fat cat was rubbing me on my legs and going through my legs whenever I was filming, so she wanted to say hi. This is Sheba. <sighs> Excuse me. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.